Mr. Chairman, members, Senate Bill 1019 appropriates $5 million from the State General Fund, FY25, to the Arizona Health, Health Innovation Trust Fund. With that, happy to answer any questions. Questions for staff? Okay. The sponsor is uh, on, his on his way. So. You have one okay. Yeah. Let's. Uh, that's uh, Joan Corber Walker. Okay. Under the circumstances, take your time. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. For the record, my name is Joan Kerber Walker. I'm testifying as a private individual, and um, I am employed by the Arizona Bioindustry Association as its CEO, and I also volunteer as the chairman of the Opportunity Through Entrepreneurship Foundation, which has been serving in the community since 2005. Um, Senate Bill 1019 brings back to this committee um, the importance of funding the Arizona Health Innovation Trust Fund, which was created by the legislature in 2022. The Arizona Health Innovation Trust Fund is an initiative within Arizona to build a bridge between the many investments that we have made in our research infrastructure, our universities, TGen, our hospitals and to create a path where those discoveries get developed so that they ultimately can help patients who are suffering, whether they have a cancer diagnosis, whether they have um, a chronic disease, or are otherwise um, you know, challenged in this state. So when we look across the United States, um, Arizona was an emerging bioscience sector that is growing rapidly. We now are 14th by population and 14th by the number of companies. But we are 22nd in the number of jobs. And the reason for that is when these young companies start, they don't have the tools that they need to actually be successful. And so they're not growing the way that they could or should. Um, the Arizona Health Innovation Trust Fund was developed by the legislature to address this and start to build the bridge. As we continue this process, um, the first year, you put $100,000 in so the treasurer could set it up. I'm watching for the sponsor. Uh, and after that $100,000, um, the state treasurer did a um, RFP, followed all the procedures, chose the nonprofit that would be responsible for doing the three things that this bill requires. Develop our workforce, support our entrepreneurs, and provide mission-related support to these companies so that they start to progress. Last year, this committee approved $50 million to go into the Arizona Health Innovation Trust Fund. Um, it proceeded and passed the Senate and proceeded again um, into House Appropriations where it also passed. Unfortunately, it didn't make it into the budget. So um, because of that, we are coming back this year in the meantime, the nonprofit raised $100,000 and started implementing all the programs that you asked us to do. And that has been reported to the President of the Senate, Speaker of the House, and the Governor as required by statute. Um, any questions, Mr. Chairman? Questions? Yes, Representative Olson. Uh, yes. Uh, Joan, could you tell us how the trust fund supports research in our communities? <coughs> For example, I have TGen in my community in my district, and I'm just wondering what that relationship is and how the fund supports it. Mr. Chairman? <coughs> Senator Alston, thank you for the question. So when we discover something at TGen, for instance, um, TGen is not in the business of commercialization. So they discover something, they figure out what might work, but it requires a company to take it to the next step. We've seen that at TGen, where um, discoveries at TGen have helped us attract companies like Exact Sciences to come and grow here. But for every company that um, comes out of some place like TGen, there's 20 or 30 that are not going anywhere. And so the idea of supporting them and helping them is critically important to ensure that the investments we're already making actually have a good return on investment. Thank you. Okay. All right, thank you. And we have a special returning guest. Uh, I, I do have a question of Joan, if I could. Oh, okay. Mr. Right, Chair. Uh, Joan, do you know 
uh, how much is in the fund now, to which a $5 million appropriation would be added, and I assume that the um, earnings of the trust fund then are used to make grants or, or do that. We don't use the, the principal or the corpus of the fund. Is that correct? That is correct, Mr. Chair. Yeah. Senator Bennett. Um, so the um, appropriation, the initial appropriation that started the fund was $100,000. So that is all that's in the fund right now. Um, and it was intended that way. So it was supposed to start at 100 and then be funded the next year and the next year until it got to its target of $200 million. Once it's at $200 million, the state never puts another dime in, okay. and it continues to grow. It will be managed by the state treasurer. Um, the statute is designed so that 4% goes to the designated nonprofit. That nonprofit is responsible for doing um, the workforce development, the entrepreneurial support, and the company support so that we don't have any violations of the gift clause, for instance. So it keeps okay. that separation in place. Does that answer your question? Yes. Sounds like there's only $100,000 in the fund. That is correct. Okay. Thank you. Nobody else? No? Check. Yes, go ahead. John, um, can you tell me how the trust fund positively impacts students? Mr. Chair? Yes. Senator Diaz, um, thank you for the question. So one of the three things that the trust fund is um, designates the nonprofit to do is workforce development. So I mentioned that when the state put 100,000 in, we went and ra raised 100 to start working. Um, and so this year we were able, to, or last year we were able to support three students um, in internships at Arizona small businesses where they could take what they were learning in education and start to apply that. In addition, we had another 60 students that participated in the Student Discovery Zone and competed for scholarships that were awarded from the fund. Okay, thank you very much. You. All right, uh, let's move the bill. Mr. Chair, I move that uh, Senate Bill 1019 be returned with a due pass recommendation. Any discussion? Secretary, please call the roll. Senator Alston? Aye. Senator Bennett? Aye. Nay. Senator Fernandez? Aye. Senator Kern? No. Senator Kerr? Aye. Senator Mendez? Aye. Senator Hoffman? Senator Kavanaugh? Aye. With seven ayes, two noes, and one not voting. Members of all your vote is seven ayes, two noes, and one not voting. You have given Senate Bill 1019 the due pass recommendation, uh, 1037. 